Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thank you all for joining me at this time. My name is Shavi Zane, and I'm coming on to bring a message for the chosen. If you find that this resonates with you in any way, please be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and let us know how it resonates with your circumstance. So, chosen, you're out here minding your business, doing a great job at building your skills, expressing your gifts really manifesting those visions that you have been envisioning over the last year, two years, three years. And you're doing a great job at it. Your spiritual team is rewarding you with results. And you're just, you're focused. But just as much as you're focused on your purpose and those creative ideas you have, many people who are even more focused on you, obsessively focused on you, your achievements, your accomplishments, what you've been able to accumulate. Like they're watching and they're clocking, they're looking at numbers, they're calculating. These people are more focused on you than they are themselves. And... The biggest disappointment is that you're winning. A lot of these people are literally praying for your downfall. They're hoping that tomorrow you'll have one less client, two less clients, maybe a hundred less clients. They truly desire to see you fail because you're winning so well. And so it's making them sick to their stomachs every time they turn on their phone or look on their computer or ask a friend of a friend about you. And they're getting nothing but good news. They're getting nothing back but good reports. This is very damaging to the ego of many people who have spent their good time, you know, valuable time wasting focusing on you, sending spell work towards you, hoping that they could stop you from rising into your divinity and getting what is inherently yours, your birthright. You deserve everything that is coming to you, Chosen, because you did the work. You made the necessary sacrifices of cleansing your energy, healing yourself and transforming. And so now you are flowing in creative energy. You earn these creative ideas and visions and you earn what's coming to you as a result of actually putting in the physical effort to bring these things into fruition. A lot of people are disappointed because they don't understand. They feel like you should have to work much harder to get to where you are right now. The most high is showing up and showing out on your behalf because it's almost as if things are just coming to you too easily in such a short period of time. And people are losing their brains because they don't understand how is it possible that literally it seemed like just a couple of years ago, you was down and out. You had lost everything. You were supposed to stay flat on your face. You were supposed to be the laughing stock of these people. You were supposed to be that one thing that they could talk about every day and, and thump their chest to every day and say that they had won because they was able to look down at you. But they didn't realize that the Most High was doing a brand new thing and was making you the example to prove to them that regardless of how much they wanted to see you stay down, the Most High would never allow you to stay there. The Most High had something so great that even they could not anticipate it. They thought it was going to take you forever to even get into a space where you had a morsel of bread, a pot to piss in and a window to throw it out of. They thought you was going to remain in poverty. They thought you was going to remain in lack. They thought you was going to remain in that space where your creative ideas was blocked but they had it all wrong. And so now you got people that, you know, they're, they're highly disappointed because they just can't seem to fathom 
How are you being raised up so quickly? How is the most high doing things for you in such a manner where it seems it's just flawless, it's effortless? You're making it look so easy out there, chosen. While your enemies and those people who have worked up against you, they're having to work sweat, blood, tears, working their fingers to the bone just to maintain the smallest of things. But this is their karma. This is their fate because now there's a switch. There's a swap that's happening here. But the difference is what's coming to you is far greater than anything that they have ever accumulated in their lifetime. And that's all of them combined. So now the only thing that they can do is sit back and watch you but they're still trying to send spell work. They're still sending the evil eye. They're still, you know, counting your numbers, trying to keep up with what you have going on because they can sleep better at night if they can say that you have one less viewer or that you have one less client or that you spent one less day doing what, what you love. These people are obsessed with your downfall because it is what they pray for. Rather than praying for themselves to be lifted up and to be healed and to become a better version of themselves and to awaken their own gifts, they spend their prayers hoping that you fail. And this is why the Most High is purposely elevating you to an extent that you did not even see coming. Because it's less about you chosen and it's more about reminding your enemies that the most I said, touch not my anointed one. That one right there has a divine mission. That one right there is favored and you're favored because you have integrity. You're favored because you have compassion. You're favored because you have genuine gratitude for life. You have a genuine care for people. The Most High watches you. When no one is looking, the Most High is watching you, seeing that you are genuinely who you say you are. You're not putting up a front. You're not putting up a facade for people. You are genuinely who you say you are. When no one is watching, you know that the Most High is always holding you accountable. So you respect the Most High Mother and Father. And you live your life in alignment with that. But your enemies are on a totally different scale. They throw stones and they hide their hands. They present themselves to the world as one thing, but behind closed doors, they're outright devils, allowing demons to operate through them freely. Freely. Demons don't even have to pay rent to be in their space. They open, they have the back door open, the front door open, and every window within their heart and soul is open to allow all low vibrational beings in because that's just who they are. And they know what they're doing. And so the Most High sees all of this. And so they're being judged and their greatest judgment is to watch you rise because that is the main thing that they spend their time trying to prevent from happening. So the Most High said, okay, well, I'm, go I'm going to show you something right here. So the Most High is flexing through you chosen. Proving to your enemies that they're low vibrational demons and deities and rituals and spell work and all of these things that they gather together to do against you. These things are weak. They have no power. And it's being proven through you because the most high is showing your enemy that when you heal and you trust in the most high and your spiritual team, everything that you need is provided for you. And then some, and then an overflow, and then even more, there is never lack. You get to receive the inheritance of your lineage chosen. And so for some of you who you know, these are karmic family members that are working up against you, that's watching you, that was hoping for your downfall. They're angry because the Most High chose you to receive the inheritance. 
the Most High chose you to receive the birthright. And so this is rightfully yours. And in a spiritual realm, your spiritual team, your ancestors, they rejoice over you because they realize you were the least selfish one. You was the one that will come and that will be born into this generation to break the generational cycles that goes back hundreds, thousands of years. You came in and you unselfishly said, I'm going to take on the assignment I know that there's going to be opposition. I know that this is going to be an uphill battle. I know that this will be challenging and that there will be a lot of pain in order to make this happen. But you still took on the assignment and you fulfilled it. This is why you received the inheritance. And so while everyone is standing around watching, hating, laughing, having all of these things to say, trying to be you know, trying to bring your downfall. They have nothing that they can say because they would not take on the assignment. Some of them were called. Some of these people that look at you, that talk about you, that want to see you down, they were called and they was given the assignment and they completely turned a blind eye to it because their ego, their greed, their pride, their jealousy and envy their carnal nature would not, would not allow them to go through the necessary transformation in order to be the vessel that was necessary to break the generational cycles. But you did it. You denied yourself of all of those temporary means of pleasure. Because you realized that this was greater than you. And so because you allowed yourself to be used as that vessel on behalf of the Most High to do a great thing for your ancestors and for your future offspring, you are being gifted with far more than you could ever imagine. And so regardless of where you are on your timeline, if you have not received your inheritance yet, anticipate that it is coming. Know that it is coming and know that it is going to be far greater than anything that you could ever imagine. All of those creative ideas, whatever you touch is going to turn to gold. Everything that you put forth effort in, you will not have to work your fingers to the bone, not another day in your life because the Most High is going to prove through you what this life is really supposed to be about. It was never meant for you to be a workhorse in the first place. It was never meant for you to be a slave on the plantation. It was never meant for you to be out here picking cotton for somebody else's vision. Picking a field to work in. No, it was meant for you to come here and to carry out your purpose and to live out your passions and your creative ideas to do the things that you love and to get paid well doing them because you deserve it. You've earned it. You have manifested it because you raised your vibrations to the right frequency to match the frequency of those visions that you had. And the most High said, yes, the answer is yes. The doors that were open. Yes, they're now open the doors that was closed that they now open for you. The opportunities that was held back, they're now readily, abundantly available to you. The financial abundance that was held back is now an overflow and it is now flowing to you. So get ready to receive y'all and just know that everyone that talked about you, that has continued to try to do spell work against you to hold you back, they're all watching and they're all getting a front row seat to your victory and your success. That's my message for you all. I love you. Like, subscribe, leave a comment below. I'll talk to you all next time.